Okay, so my goal was to just go ahead and build a, a propane forge to see what I could, uh, if I could do it or not, and I knew I could, but uh, I'm terribly uh, excited uh, about it, and uh, you know, I didn't take a ton of video on every little thing, but uh, you get the gist of it, and uh, it was a fun project, it didn't take that much effort and it wasn't expensive. I still haven't tell you what it cost. But uh, it was worth it. Give it a try and uh, you know, it'd be kind of fun to see other people's uh, experimentation maybe. Modifications. Uh, maybe somebody could uh, recommend different modifications that they've tried uh, and been more successful with. So it'd be cool. And uh, maybe the next uh, modification I'll make is conversion to gas. Natural gas. <laughs> Holy shit, this is like a damn airplane. Well, here's a bunch of crappy bed frames. Um, I think there's two or two and a half. <laughs> and uh, I've uh, found these before thrown out and been able to make good use out of them. But uh, yeah. I bought these for uh, $10 for the whole pile. And... Uh, I'm going to use that to make a frame for the uh, forge there, so we'll see what happens. And, uh, I mean, you know, it's, it's good enough. It's pretty thick. These are old frames. They're pretty thick. So I pay a lot more than that at the uh, um, place that sells steel, so we're going to try and fab something up with these, and, uh, yeah, see how it works. So I've been working on... Uh, little project here lately uh, trying to design a small forge uh, to do some uh, work in and anyway uh, I got some fire bricks that I just bought today a dollar 27 a piece and uh, they're rated for 2400 uh, degrees Fahrenheit so I also got a sack of special mortar to be able to mortar them together. But uh, certain portions of it I'm going to mortar and certain portions no. Uh, it's going to be propane fired. So this is my burner. I have uh, inside this, this is all three quarter inch pipe. And uh, inside this is a eighth inch piece of pipe with a nut welded to the end of it and a MIG welding tip uh, number 35 is screwed into that so that's the orifice for the gas coming out so it's going to be propane and I can convert it to gas natural gas if I want to later so anyway they got a number 35 MIG welding tip in there into an eighth inch pipe and it comes back to this quarter inch pipe which is tapped on the inside to accept the eighth inch pipe. It all goes through this little reducer here. Uh, and then of course I got a valve here. And then the propane comes in here. And it goes in, you know, through it from the tank, a little 20 pound tank to a valve or to a, a gauge and then this valve here. So that injects it down into the pipe. It comes down to about right there somewhere. Uh, this end, I have seen different designs where they just use an uh, electric fan to blow the air in. I decided I'm going to use compressed air so that I can really tune it up the way I want and I don't have to have uh, any electric blower motors. You know, I've already got the compressor, so uh, why not? So, uh, I'd like to have a stainless steel burner tip on this, but I'm struggling to find a place that'll sell me. Some uh, I did find a place, but it was they tried to rip me off. I was trying to buy some other steel while I was there too, and they were trying to rip me off. So I said, forget it. So I won't mention their names because I'm not like that. So, at any rate, uh, so this is going to basically go in through the top. Okay, between these two bricks, I'm going to drill a hole. That'll shoot right down in here, and. Uh, come right down into the this cavity here so uh, what I plan on doing is 
leaving these bricks movable so that I can open to make it wider. Or maybe if you're working on just a really narrow piece of metal, you can close it off and it'll get, keep it hotter. Also, this back brick, I'm going to leave it, be able to move so you can put spacers under it so that if you have something longer, it can stick out, you know, the back of the forge. So, uh, I've got a bunch of this flat steel around here. I have about 100 feet of this stuff. And uh, I have a small piece of angle iron. I'd like to encase this. I'm going to mortar some of it together, the base of it together, and, and uh, strap some of it together with uh, the angle iron. Maybe like brace this around here and there's going to be a, a pipe down in here short cut short to receive the burner and I'll leave that so I can adjust the burner up and down I'll tap some tap some holes in the side of this pipe put some screws in it to and to uh, you know press against the three quarter inch pipe so that it'll you know, this will adjust so my goal was to build something that could tolerate a lot of heat you know, I've seen different designs where they use you know, old propane tanks or air tanks, but uh, this was something that was really cheap. I think I spent about $40 on the uh, bricks and the mortar. The mortar was more expensive, I think, than the bricks. Uh, so I'm pretty happy with the design so far. You know, I'm not in a real big hurry. Uh, the burner was kind of expensive to put together because it didn't have most of the pieces. The valves were about $8 a piece and the MIG tips I had to buy it like five of them for about eight or nine dollars. Uh, I haven't added it all up yet. It, it's going to cost money but uh, I'd like to be able to you know, heat treat some stuff and maybe do some horseshoe art or something like that. Whatever I feel like doing and uh, normally I've done stuff like that with the oxygen settling and it's just so expensive. The oxygen and acetylene is just really expensive. The propane isn't isn't cheap, but it's a lot cheaper than the oxygen and acetylene. So, uh, if I could, I'd have a coal forge. But uh, on my cul-de-sac here, I think they might get a little upset with me. So the propane will work good. And uh, I just need to build some kind of a stand for this and uh, put it together. Once I I think I'm going to play with it before I really mortar anything together. I'm going to play around with the design, weld up the brackets that I want to weld up, and get the design down. And, uh, you know, and there you go. And just by the by, in case anybody builds one of these and blows themselves up with it, uh, I'm telling you, don't build one of these. <laughs> okay? Go buy one. Don't build one. But uh, me, I'm building one, so. Yeah, it's just basic plumbing hardware here and uh, some fire bricks and uh, all you need basically you know you need a heat source and uh, you need some fire bricks and uh, this is pretty cool these are the nice thick ones they uh, they sell half bricks like this for like 227 at tractor supply and home depot uh, these ones are two and a half inches wide uh, they're four, I think they're four and a half this way and they're nine that way so they're a nice, really thick, heavy brick. And these will wear out, but it's going to take a lot to wear those out. So I'm happy with that. So it's kind of cool if that stays adjustable, you know. I think this is a pretty good size. I'm not even sure what the size of that opening is. Let's just see. And when it's all said and done, even if this is left movable, you can sway these out a little bit more. But right now, um, I've got six and a half inches there. I could probably go seven. And uh, let me see this way uh, four and a half high. You know, so I figure that's, that's pretty big space. And I can always modify this and I could add a second burner and build it even deeper, but you know, I'm not sure uh, if that's going to be necessary. But if I leave it where I can. Uh, make it bigger or modify it then uh, I think it'll be money ahead so anyway there you go uh, when I get her going I'll uh, put a video up see if I can I mean I've got this design from other people on the internet and uh, you know it's not my design 
I've modified other designs. This one's kind of mine. <laughs> I'm not trying to take any credit from anybody. There's a lot of sharp people out there that uh, build these forges, and uh, I've had a lot fortunate to have a lot of people uh, give me a little insight and offer some advice and uh, how to put the thing together. So, for your entertainment purposes, we'll see if I can't uh, fry something up in there. So I just brought my forge in uh, after it being outside for two hours. It's about 40 degrees outside. This thing is still scalding hot. Two hours later, it's still super hot. Uh, well, it's not as hot as it was. It's not glowing like it was. But that brick is still, if you put your hand on it, you wouldn't be able to hold it on there for more than a second or two. It's that hot still. So I'm a little nervous about bringing it in, but I uh, it's not around anything flammable, so well, except for that cardboard. But uh, there it is, and it works awesome. Uh, the one modification, one of the modifications I did was to split a brick in the front here, so I was able to put these two halves for like the doorway here, um, cut off some tabs that were here. Uh, the only thing that I cemented with the high temperature cement was the hole that I drilled. You know, for this tube to act as a receiver uh, for the burner. So nothing cemented together except for these two bricks. And uh, that's strapped together just to kind of hold it together. And this is too. And uh, this uh, frame here, I'm not 100% sure. I'm, I'm not really done with it. I think what I'd like to do is go from here to this frame with some type of a toggle that you could tighten down and compress it. Uh, the reason I haven't cemented these in place is because I still want to be able to move them out if I need a wider forge. So I'm going to leave it like that for a while and try it out. But I have this old uh, white uh, treadle sewing machine table. And I mounted my platform on top of it. And uh, I like it. I think it works really good. Uh, again, it gets ridiculously hot. I'm going to try and figure out how I can test the temperature in there. But it was just really, really hot. It was wonderful to work with. I think it's a lot nicer to use than the oxygen acetylene torch. Uh, you know, your hands free. You can chuck something in there, heat it up, and pull it back out again. Uh, so yeah, it was. It was just. It was fun. A little loud uh, with the uh, forced air there, but uh, <laughs> it got really hot. So all in all, a success. Now I got to see if I can uh, put this thing to use and. Uh, Make something out of it, so pretty cool.